Alright, so I'll just create a hardcore world. Shouldn't be that bad. Hopefully spawn is pretty good. Oh. Oh wow, I'm on a stone island with birch trees. Disgusting. Okay, so I spawn in on a pretty bad spawn. A uh, bunch of birch trees and stone. Um, I start off by just mining some wood like everybody does on, as their first thing. Uh, craft some planks, craft a ca crafting table, get some sticks, and make myself a wooden pickaxe and an uh, axe. After mining some more stone, I make myself a stone pickaxe. And then um, I grab some more uh, cobblestone to make a furnace. Place the furnace down, I spotted some coal and iron, so I go and mine those. It ended up only being two coal and two iron. Um, I had to turn my render distance down though because my fan was being super duper loud. Um, yeah, come back up there, smelt the iron and coal. Uh, I see this unusually long birch tree, which is kind of weird. Get some more coal, some more iron. Uh, wait for that stuff to smelt up. And then um, pick up my stuff and then try and find a better uh, place to uh, start. Just going through this birch forest. I realize that it goes on for a pretty long way after murdering some sheep uh, to get a bed. <laughs> Then I start on my journey again. I gotta grab a flower because I mean, why not? <laughs> um, right here, I do a 360 gap. Pretty cool. Uh, looking down, just looking for stuff. Uh, take a swim. I see a drown down there. Don't worry about them too much. They're pretty slow. Um, then I come to this biome here which I really don't like, but I had to go up across it. It's like a powdered snow mountain. Um, it's pretty dangerous because you can fall in the snow and um, you can basically drown in it. Uh, being careful on the ice too, that I don't slip off. Um, pretty easy to break though. Then I come down here and I actually fall into the powdered snow like I said before. And right here I was like, oh, okay, not a big deal. And I started to panic because um, it kept on getting colder and colder. And um, it just kept on going down and down. So I didn't actually take that much damage, but it got scary because I wasn't sure um, how it is. So actually, I ended up surviving that, which is good. So um, I put down my furnace uh, so that I can cook some food and regain my health. Because cooked food gives you more um, hunger bars, which give you more health. After grabbing that, I start to explore the cave a little bit. Um, right here, I'm adjusting the brightness of my monitor so I can see better. Um, I didn't expect to find much in this cave, but I actually ended up finding um, it was out. I actually ended up finding out that it's a really big cave. Just grabbing some uh, coal right here for smelting. Um, just looking around, pretty big. Like I said uh, this cave actually was pretty realistic to like a real cave. Uh, a lot of caves are just kind of like cracks. And then I realized that um, I walked around this corner and there's a skeleton right there. There's another one behind me, so I had to do some juking, uh, get up here and uh, eat. Um, yeah, then I ended up just killing the skeleton. He got stuck like right here. He wasn't really sure what to do. Uh, it's basically like a super inefficient mob farm. Um, yeah, just able to get rid of him. And then I walk around um, looking for that other skeleton. Um, he actually hits me with a super quick unexpected arrow right here. Yeah, and then um, I start to attack them. Attack them. I got him. Um, I put down my furnace and crafting table so I can smelt some coal and iron again. Uh, I walk down here exploring, my, uh, exploring, and there wasn't much down there. Uh, just another big crack in the ground. Um, go back, I get enough, uh, iron to make myself some stuff, I make myself an iron pickaxe, um, and then pick up my crafting table and stuff. Uh, I see this creeper coming, um, no big deal, it was just one, so I got rid of him. Then I go up here and I realize there's two skeletons and a creeper, 
Um, so that was pretty scary. So I just, they did some damage. I'm on like four and a half hearts, and I uh, block it off right here so that um, they can't come down. Um, I was expecting them to come down, so I mined this up so I could hit their feet. They actually never came down to attack me, so I went out the, um, went out the other way. And I made myself a, um, a bed uh, so I can sleep through the night, not have to worry about too many monsters. Um, and I started exploring. Then I run into these two creepers right here. Um, I tried to get them to explode each other, but they did not. So after being the biggest uh, cowardly creeper fighter, I guess you could say, <laughs> I got rid of them. Um, so yeah. And then it was back on a back on travel. I found some pumpkins, and for some reason I grab pumpkins every single time because for some reason I think they're rare and valuable. Um, which later on it turns out they are. I um, found some pigs. Um, just started to kill them, get their food. Uh, there's a lot actually. Got a nice 180 on that one. Notice there's some lava here I could probably use for another portal. Uh, then there's a sheep right here. And there's some more pigs um, on the other side of the valley. Which I get. <gasps> After missing that horrible 360, I found this cave. And it ended up uh, being really big, so I put down my furnace and crafting table so I could cook myself some food. Um, I jumped down here to a 360, take some damage for no reason because it's funny. <laughs> uh, mining some more iron and then uh, going back up to grab the food and then coming back down to another 360. Run into two skeletons that want to kill me. Um, I, I got shot from behind and I nearly died, but there was one block that saved me. And the skeleton got shot by his, uh, by the other skeleton and they started fighting each other. Which was completely fine by me, so I just uh, let them do their thing while I healed up um, above, just kind of watching. Then I hopped down, because um, I, I thought there was only one skeleton, it turns out there's a skeleton and a creeper. So I tried to uh, hit the creeper away, but it actually did a lot of damage and gave me one heart um, so um, after this arrow I build myself a little box um, and then killed the skeleton then I ran out of the dirt and this is exactly why pumpkins are useful when you run out of blocks you can build yourself a little hut then. after healing up I come out and mine some diamonds uh, that I found, uh, so that was pretty nice. Then I found some lapis too. Oh, I see the lower part of the cave, which actually looks really cool. The cave and clip stuff update looks super cool. I like it a lot. Um, then I found some more skeletons, more logs and stuff. Uh, after killing him, I just kill him, and then um, I go exploring a little bit more. Um, I was mining down a little bit, and I actually ran into some diamonds, which was awesome. Deep Slate Diamond, um, which is really cool. After mining those, I just towered back up, and um, for some reason I like to jump on those. I'm not exactly sure why. Then I see this skeleton with an enchanted bow, and it, had, it must have power. Oh no! Because I realized it only it did like six hearts of damage. I have one health. I run over here to try and build, Ooh. and then I'm shot by the skeleton. And so, um, yeah.